What's going on guys? Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer. What are we doing today? Um, could do a bomber run. But it doesn't have the skill I want. Let's get the skill we want. And then we'll do a bomber run. Uh, is that the... F I think I go backwards and it's faster. This really makes me want Bakunudo's fucking quality of life mod added on. It's about the same, honestly. There it is. Okay, we got Kaboom. Um, who do I bring along? Still want to keep using the new skulls for the most part, but we've used all the ones that you can get at the start a lot, so... Let's bring along, um, the soldier. Unrivaled. I guess. It's not the skill I want, but we'll fix it as we go. There's one skill in particular that you 100% want on this character without a shred of doubt. So hopefully we can get that. But I don't think I'm going to be sticking to the soldier anyways. That, that was at least a quick fall. That was cool. I didn't think it would be that fast. So, so we're setting ourselves up here for a pretty difficult beginning. Um, because Bomber is one of the worst skulls in the game at the start. And, um, it's not like this guy's much better at the start. So, I mean, he, okay, he is definitely better than Bomber at the start, but he's not good at the start because he doesn't have his skill. Like, uh, he can't use Unraveled Strikes with his skills, so, like, the main draw behind this guy doesn't exist when he's at his basic rarity. The only Unraveled Strike he has is on his basic. And it's not very good, so... Okay, this calls for Bomber. All right, beautiful. Good start. Kind of. Take that. That's a halfway decent item. Like I said, I'm not committed to this, um... Oh my god, slime, really? Well, I guess I'm going to be taking the slime item. This may even be new for some people. Some people don't even know this exists. But... If I talk to this slime... With no items... He gives me something special. So let's do that. And it's actually a pretty good item in DM10. A lot of people make fun of me for liking this item. I don't know why, because it's really good. It's useless against bosses, but it's good against rooms. So here it is, the Magical Staff. Attacking an enemy whose current HP is at max has a 10% chance to turn them into critters. Um, which is really good. Because uh, Dark Elites exist, and a lot of them have prefixes that keep them at max HP if you uh, use it correctly. So, something like, uh, you know, Plate Armor, or Protection, or even, um, what's that one? Regeneration. And also, sometimes you just get critters anyway. Like, we, we just got a couple critters there. There's a goose, there's a squirrel. I'll take the Howling Horn. It's not good on my bomber but it's potentially good on this guy if it interacted with the the skill in the way you'd wanted it to it would be very good but i don't think it does because they the devs kind of fucked this character by making him kind of weird like uh even though his um attack is a normal attack for some reason it um it counts as a skill action if you use it with a skill, which is really, really weird and really annoying, and I don't know why they did it. It makes no sense. It's like they were specifically trying to screw this guy over and make him not nearly as good as he would be otherwise. And the worst part about it being a skill action is it's not like it activates uh, ability spam items either. It, it it has the worst of both worlds. It's so bizarre. I, I, I just, I have no words for how strange it is. But we'll manage. Um, we have a lot of money here. Actually, real quick, let's, uh, let's get a medallion if I can. Let's get that. I, okay, fine. No medallion for me. Fine, I guess. I can handle it. Now, Hand of the Destroyer is interesting. I did just pass the mage, though, who would have been really good with this. I'll still grab it, actually. I, I want to use this. I don't know what I'm cooking up on this build, but we'll see as it unfolds. So far, it's really, really weird. Very strange build so far. Not good. <laughs> it's not good, but it'll get good. 
We have Bomber. What could go wrong? Okay, we stopped her from ulting. That's all I really cared about. Alright, good fight. Take the bone shards. Oh, that's nice, actually. That's gonna help. I've been wondering if Guan, or God of War, whatever you want to call him, I've been wondering if he's even halfway decent with crit items. He does do a lot of hits per second, at least for a power skull. It's not like he's out here doing, like, numbers that would be good with, like, Invisible Knife, for instance, so... When his attack speed gets up, though, he can hit pretty quickly. As you saw there, by the way, immediate kill on the Dark Elite. And that's not as rare as you would think it is. That happens fairly often when you have this item. <clears throat> it can save you a lot of trouble. Uh, attack speed, please. That's fine, too. Probably currently the best stat I can get, but I would have liked to have had attack speed. Speak of the devil. There it is. This build's weird. I'm not even committed to this character, though. Like, I'm not committed at all to uh, God of War. So even if it's not good with God of War, we may find someone who is good with uh, Invisible Knife. So, And it's the best item in the game. So, You see an Invisible Knife, you take Invisible Knife. That's the rule. A rule I break fairly often, actually. So, It's actually not the rule. I was lying. All right, we're at the shop. I think we've low rolled our doors, which isn't good. You never want that to happen. Buy this. A little late. Treasure on the pedestal still is good though. Oh, uh, let's check the quint. Okay, yeah. Treasure on the pedestal. All right, let's see what we can get here. So many things I passed. Oh. Oh. Uh. The legendary can't be better. God damn it! Fuck! God Christ! I knew it wouldn't be better. I knew it would be better! Okay, we're fine. But come on, game. That's what I get for being greedy, dude. Fucking doomsday, dude. It's like, could it get worse? Probably. Let's not tempt the game. The game gave me a stellar run yesterday. I said yesterday at the end of that run that today's run's gonna suck because of that. Let's see if my prediction was true. Okay. I could also take this, but I'm definitely taking the unique. We'll see what happens on this run. <laughs> now it has a decent likelihood to be good. Two in a row couldn't hurt, you know. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Doomsday. Yo. Uh, yes, actually. That's... Okay, there's our crit item guy. But we need to change his skills. We need Soul Burn. That's all. This character goes so hard with Bomber. Okay, this could be a banger run. I'm locking where this is heading. Potentially. We'll see. Yeah, I like the Skyrim uh, noises that this auto makes. It's like I just leveled up. Huh. Huh. Sorry, okay, I need a better commentary than just going every five seconds. Get punched! We're definitely not stopping him before he ults, I don't think. Which sucks. I wish I could, but... I don't think it's happening. Do we have mana cycle? Ow. 
Uh, maybe there's hope yet? Probably not. No. Okay, that missed? Really? Oh well. Do I have mana cycle? I do have mana cycle. Yeah, it's on my uh my magical staff. Forgot about that. I was wondering why my kabooms felt like they were good uptime. And they shouldn't be at this stage of the game. Also, okay, this run's officially getting kind of nutty. Didn't take long. Crit items and gunpowder sword. So now I'm a mixed damage king. Uh, we can get rid of this probably. Oh, wait. Yeah, this goes. I'll buy Brawl on the pedestal of anything. I'm not holding onto that for the rest of the run. I was only wanting to keep it because of Brawl, but like... Psh. It's fucking doomsday, bro. It's not earned the right, the privilege to join me in the Hall of Heroes. Three away from upgrading this bomber. Kind of unfortunate, but like, it is what it is. We'll get there. Like, this portion of the game's not gonna be too bad without bomber. Also, here's a chance to show you the transformation. There it is, see? That's minus one play armor for free. I'm a big fan. I, I, we probably aren't taking it to the end, but like, it's still nice to have along the way. It has really good inscriptions too. What's my career right now? 35? Yeah. I'd like to get it a little higher than that. All right, 3,000 gold, more even, 3.5k. That's nice. Bye. Is this good? I don't think so. Increase, sorry, I had to burp. Increases magic attack by 4% for every 10% increase in attack speed. Maximum 100% increase, that's pretty good actually. Okay. I mean, I have room. We'll hold on to it for now. Um, what's that for now? Forty? That's not like that's still pretty good, even then. Okay, we definitely want this. I'm glad I refreshed. Uh, this is probably going. It's not good on my bomber, but that doesn't really matter. But like the uh, Hmm. Misfortune on the pedestal is the likely outcome. Like the thing is, I don't think I'm holding on to this for the entire run. But I'm also not holding on to this for the entire run. But this is more helpful currently right now than this. I just, I'm gonna miss the fucking Skyrim yells. That's the only reason I hesitate there. Let's also buy the mystery box. Uh we're not stunning anymore but like i made money off that so especially with the gold incense burner the mystery box is almost always worth it gotcha gaming it's like the house knit doesn't always win whenever you have gold percent gain the house loses i win me it's like when i have gold incense burner i'd even free the painting guy and actually take him up on his offer Come on over then. This run's gonna be good. I can feel it. Bye. All I need is some dense damage scaling. What's my damage percent right now? I have to check in a moment. Pretty close. Crit item runs generally have lower damage percent than most. But it doesn't matter because crit items are insanely overpowered. But what if we could get a crit item run with a normal damage percent? And also, you know, crit items. Wouldn't that be pretty sweet? Game, hear me. I know you hear me. I know you're sentient. Make it happen. Please. 
Excuse me. Ugh. I hate recording after I eat dinner. But some days I gotta do that when I'm streaming on Twitch. And I don't play Skull on stream. Uh, I didn't mean to use that one. I meant to use the punch. But thankfully it didn't matter. Can you? Man, we need to upgrade this bomber. He's so bad before you upgrade him, it's crazy. Okay. Ugh. Oh. I will- I, I've been wanting to use this item so badly. Can it fit on this build? I really want it to. I really want it to. In fact, I want it to so badly I'm getting rid of this. I want to use this item. I think it's cool. I think it's so cool. And it's also dual. Dual is, like, so good. By the end of the run, it's probably going to be gone, but... We got a really shitty secondary skill on my bomber, but hardly matters. But you're never going to see me use Risky Upgrade. I think it's terrible. Tornado, good to know. My dumbass didn't read it. But there's other ways of finding these things out. We still need an ability swapper for um, for my living armor. Basically, any skill with soul um, soul burn is the uh, way for this character. But the the dash skill is also good. I I find it to be my second favorite skill that he has. But like, despite me having it now and not having soul burn, like I'm still willing to get rid of it just so I can get soul burn. That's how important soul burn is on this character. It means everything. Yeah, we have definitely low rolled our doors. We're going to be in a lot of pain on this run in terms of uh, getting gear and stuff. I'm prepared for a very painful experience. Something like this is worth considering. In fact, we will just take it. This is good. And there's the solar sword. Do I want it? I think I do. This easy come easy go. That's just the way I have to look at it. It ain't gonna work on this build. We buy misfortune on the pedestal. No, 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 we don't because we got a good misfortune on him. No! My purple flurp! No! My flurp! It's not fair. Fat fingered it. Um, Brawl, right? Yeah, Brawl. Give me Brawl. Now we keep our Fulgidon Copium alive. It will happen. Although we're going to be very poor on this run, so... Like, it's got to happen... Uh... Pretty early, you know? And I got to get it pretty quickly, or else the odds of me getting it go down and down and down. So hurry up, Fulgid Dawn. We love you. Everyone loves you. You're like probably one of the most favorite items among everyone. Although I guess that's probably changed a little bit these days. My take on Fulgid Dawn is it's a luxury. It's, you know, you don't need it. But goddamn is it nice to have it, right? Runs are just fine without it, though. Ain't gonna stop me from trying, of course. All right, my on sisters. We've super low rolled our doors, by the way. It's crazy how much I've low rolled them. Not good. It means I'm gonna have very little resources on this run. It's not good. It's pretty bad. All right, sir. Bring it on. Or ladies, I mean. Can't say I'm your biggest fan, ladies, but today I'm feeling non-combative, so. Not gonna fight you, at least verbally. 
just gonna beat the shit out of you and be on my way. No biggie. I'd like to get her pretty low here. Uh, that'll do. I think we have mystery. No, we don't have mystery. Okay, good. So she can't just die randomly to something stupid. Like, you know, like getting the wave and then the wave killing her. Didn't mean to hit her there. Alright, we gotta ride the mirror go around a bit. Fine by me. I'm plenty healthy. I'm not worried about it. I can dodge y'all for days. You think you got me here? You think you're good? You think your shit don't stink? It does. Shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyways. Getting her as low as possible is a good thing. Alright, good. Long hair sister. Now I go all out. Come on. Blow up. Nice. I didn't think that'd kill her, though. It's a good thing that it killed her. I just didn't think it would. Now it's your turn. She was, like, so happy that I spared her. She absolutely, uh, felt like I did her a favor, but it was actually just so I could, you know, kill you quicker in this phase. And it's not personal. It could be personal on another day, but like I said, today, I'm not in a, com uh, a vindictive mood. So, nothing personal. It's just business. No good items. Ooh, actually, eh, you know what? Evil Eye's pretty good. I'll take an Evil Eye. Nice stun for later. Can't go wrong with a little stun. Predicted Pain's probably going to be my uh, other thing I do here. But let's fill out Go Getter first. Works for me. Predicted Pain, Super Baby, potentially? We'll see. Aya! We didn't get the little guy. Oh no, we did get the little guy. I hate the little guy. I wish I didn't get him. Comes the missile. Man, my allergies are killing me. We need a ability swapper, please. There's so actually, well, no, there's only one left, but we have the chance to see her for two acts. If I don't see the ability swapper by the time this runs over, this is like the revenge for yesterday's Giga run. Basically, the game is like taking its penance. A good deed is not free. You owe me. For, it's like the game. That's the game talking to me for the record. That's the bit. The game is telling me that it owes me. Or I owe it for yesterday's run. And the penance is I don't get an ability swap for the entire latter half of. Actually, not even one time throughout the whole run, even. I haven't seen a single one. I don't even think I saw the one in Act 1. Which normally I don't like seeing that one. But we did get the living armor in Act 1. Would have been pretty nice. Just saying. Dude, the fucking shop, dude. This is what I'm talking about. We're going to be so poor. This is a really good item. Um, Do I have courage? I don't. I have arms three, though. If anything, this would go, but I don't want to get rid of it. Um, my courage matters quite a bit. Do I roll the die again like I did yesterday with the fucking box? Not as good of a roll, but not a terrible roll. Mutant, like, mutant's very important on a build like this. Extremely important. We could just get rid of this. But it's, like, such dense magic scaling. Hmm. Sorry about that, by the way. Adjusting my headset. My ear itched. Like, this courage sucks. If I'm gonna have courage, it better be on better stuff. Don't forget I'm in, Max. 
And skull run, please. Probably should take a couple item rooms at some point. Gotta maximize my Fulgent Dawn chance. Like I said, this run doesn't need Fulgent Dawn, but goddamn, it would be nice to have it. Bye, no missiles for you. You should have launched it immediately and you would have had a chance, but you didn't. Boo hoo, sucks to be you. Well, don't, uh, don't forget him in Max. Also, the treasure chest. I didn't even think about that. Like, we need all the money we can get, basically. I'm going to be eternally struggling for resources on this one. Oh, you're Legion, huh? Oh, you're alive. Wow. How did the Dark Elite die, but that thing lived? That's kind of crazy. Alright. It's Adventurer time. I'm not scared. I'm not worried about it. Even without the best a uh, skill we can have, I'm not worried. We're going to own him. I have been fat fingering that button so much more lately. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe my keyboard setup is fucked up or something. Bye. You're not ulting yet? Alright, you can just die in the corner then. No skin off my back. Why does her legendary keep showing up? I've seen it so many times. Give me yours. Where's yours? God, dude, stop with the priestess legendary. I'm not taking it. You can't make me. Like, give me a good relic run and sure, but like, this ain't it. I'll take the money. And believe it or not, I'm upgrading my Living Armor before my Bomber. Because Living Armor at Legendary is an enormous upgrade. Very important. Um, it's pretty much everything on this build, so... Even though we still don't have a Soul Burn, that's like the main thing about this build, and we don't have it yet, but... Keep the faith, guys. It's coming. Did they change that? Don't remember it pulling enemies like that before. Maybe that was just a visual glitch? The perfect time to take an item room. Bye. Why has that been my catchphrase lately? I don't know. I feel like it just fits. It's better than my old catchphrase. Bazinga. Those are the early days of the Hexer channel. I said Bazinga all the time. Can you perish? Thank you. Did I leave an uh, unopened treasure chest? I think I did. I don't think I opened it. Oh, I did. I didn't think I would have. Knowing me, I'm shocked that I opened that. Oh, it's a rare chest, and it's not what we're looking for. But that's fine. We have 6k, and that's a hope slasher. See, there's my courage. That's more like it when it comes to courage. Hard to fit, though. Huh. Here's what I do. Buy it. I'm not dropping that for the record. Don't don't get mad at me. I'm not dropping it. Just looking for the lunar ring. Okay. Not here. Fulgent on copium. Buy. No more. Now we just focus on the hope slasher. It costs too much to refresh here. I'd have to sell something big to afford the lunar ring. So we just count our blessings and go. Every penny counts on this run, so... But the Hope Slasher is going to go a long way to help. Very dense damage scaling. Um, really good Courage item. I can probably put Courage on the pedestal. This seems like it could be a good candidate for a run where I uh, take the Apple as my extra goodie. Let's 
Seems like a run where that could be the case. I don't think I have a four uh, or a max inscription at all or anything. Hi, Gambler. I love you, Gambler. Trust me, I do. I'm fairly certain that's new. Like, because I've played with this skill before, and I've I do not remember him doing that. Did they, did did fucking living armor get shadow patched? If a lunar ring was in here, I would have been very sad. <laughs> Thankfully, there wasn't. This should go well for me. I think the run's strong enough at this point. Even though we, like I said, um, lower damage percent for sure. Like this is um, lower than the normal standard damage percent. But just watch. Or I guess I shouldn't be too cocky. I think this is going to work. We don't have soul burn yet, but that's fine. I think this is still going to be a good uh, showing for my run. Maybe not though, because that didn't do as much as I hoped it would. Yeah, maybe it's not as good of a showing as I was hoping. If only we had Soul Burn. Oh no! Oh no! I thought I would be small enough. Oh, that's bad. Like, there's still a lot of this fight left. Oh no. If I lose reassembly here, it's pretty much a no-go on the um, hidden boss. Like, it, it won't be possible. I think I can beat Alexander at this stage with um, without my reassembly, but certainly not the hidden boss. 1 HP. There it is. Yeah. Unfortunate. This was a terrible showing, but it was my fault. Um, I, I, I got no one to blame but myself there. I, I thought I'd be small enough to fit in there and, and not get shredded by the poison. Dying on Chimera is so stupid. I believe I just did that shit. Um, Shadow Knights is good. Completely unnecessary death. Predicted pain for sure. It's gonna be very good. We just give me the soul burn already, please. Now we have legendary bomber, which is nice. Um, I think on this run, I probably should scale my damage percent first. Cause like we already have instant cooldown bomber. These are not high cooldown skills, and also living armor actually has three different sets of skills you can use. So even if you have high uh, cooldown, it's not a big deal. Because you can just swap to the other skills and use those. Not that I don't want my Arachnus skill shrine done, though. I do want that shit, but it's not as important on this run. Did they... Like, did they just straight nerf? Is it bugged? Like, there's supposed to be a bunch of explosions coming out behind him, I swear. Like, what is happening here? It feels worse. I'm so confused. Alright, minus one um, NPC from the NPC pool. Raising my odds unironically of getting a fucking ability swapper. <laughs> which, um, normally I'm like, annoyed when I see the ability swappers, but... I want that shit right now. That's, that just feels worse to me. Maybe I should stop using enhanced, um, the enhanced dash. It feels like it, there's something wrong with it. Like, I feel like it's not supposed to be pushing enemies around. And it's also supposed to have a bunch of explosions happening as he, as he, like, charges. This version of the dash is currently better than that one. Just keep using it like that until we get the ability swapper. Which hasn't shown up yet. Just very rude. Is 
Is this the shop? It probably is. Yep. I didn't even see what skull that was. No. Yes. I gotta make room for this. That's my artifact. It's also just like such dense magic damage scaling. Like it's so hard to get rid of it. We're not going Minotech 3, I don't think. But this is dense scaling on the physical side. And I need it too. Could be time to say goodbye to this. Is there really no better item? Man, this sucks. <laughs> uh, I mean, actually, I could just get rid of this. I do have arms three. Yeah. Buy courage on the pedestal. It'd be time to say about a brawl too, actually. Buy wisdom. Well, we don't have wisdom, actually. I think for now, I'll buy courage. We'll see about rapidity. I'll buy this. Now that we have more consistent crit rate, uh, that's pretty nice. Our crit rate is already good, but like now it's way better. Uh, I think what the joke I was saying earlier about the penance for yesterday's run is unironically coming true. The game is not going to show me uh, ability swapper. Oh, never mind. There she is. Okay. Okay, where is this lantern guy? Can you stop? Did I pass him down here? Like... Where were those lanterns coming from? Now we... Oh, I don't have a lot of money, though. I have to roll... It's... It can't be that hard to find it, right? Like... I don't even care what other skill it comes with. I just need soul burn, okay? Game, do not fuck me here, okay? You don't want to. I don't want you to. Work with me. Give me soul burn. And then we can build something beautiful. Thank you. There we go. And we also got Soul Knuckle as well. I'm going to set Soul Burn to 2 skill. Poisoning. Oh, I need to stop pressing my skill button whenever I swap in. I'm, I'm like button mashing and it's making me waste my living armor skills. I need to break that habit. There we go. <laughs> it only took the whole run. But here we are. We've arrived at what I wanted the whole time. That's going to shred Alexander into little tiny ribbons. Hey, what's up? Normally, you're a pain in the ass because you leave a bunch of damage puddles everywhere. But for one, I have, uh, I have this. So good luck escaping that. But also, I have Soul Burn. And that can hit you wherever you are. See? Not so cocky now, are you, Priestess? You guys see what I meant, though? The whole run, it was all waiting for this moment. Ow. Okay. A little bit of a humbling moment there. Yeah. Good fight, Priestess. You tried. Sometimes that's all that matters. Damage percent, still. All the way up. We need it. 744 is good on a uh, crit item run, and so is 620, honestly. My physical is already pretty good. I'm, I may be better off from here adding into my um, attack speed because it makes my magic stronger with that item I have. And also, it can't hurt to just have more skill cooldown. 
Like, it's not as important as it normally is, but it's still important. Ow. I didn't see that there. There's not even really an item I want at this point. Pretty heavy. I did the thing, by the way. I button meshed. It's a bad habit. You can just have that. It's all yours. Alright, we're going to destroy this Executioner. Bye. Such an asshole. I hate Executioners. No mercy for Executioners ever. This is still a 2 uh, Stone of the Air. If I want it. I don't know where I'd fit it. I do want Wisdom on this run. It's just a matter of where I'd put it. I could put it here. But that is Execute. And Execute's insanely overpowered. Execute 2 especially. Like. But like god dude. Oh my god. Ser execute. Never mind. Not especially Execute 2. Execute 4 is correct. And Execute 4 Enhanced is super cracked. Is that a case for taking Execute Enhanced? Where would I fit this? Oh man. It's like the Apple. Yeah. It's not horrible. But what about Execute Enhanced? If I can somehow fit it. What item is... Like, this could go. No, that's Execute. Never mind. This is too important. It's, um... It's, it's crit percent. Although we don't need it as much, but it's also my artifact. This could go, but that's also my artifact. But it's also dense damage. This is actually, yeah, this is better. It's denser damage scaling, right? Am I tripping? Oh, actually, let's, let's do it like this. 620 versus 595. I lose a little bit. Worth it. It's worth it. And now we get rid of Brawl. Execute 4. Which is just cracked even without the enhancement. But if you guys haven't seen Execute 4 enhanced... Holy fuck. It's ridiculous. I don't think I've shown it on my, uh, on my channel yet, so... Just prepare yourselves. Man, this just suddenly out of nowhere became an execute run. That's that's kind of what's up, honestly. And we have extremely high quality execute items as well. You just you love to see it, you know. You, you just you can't help but love to see it. And I wasn't even thinking about the crit items. I wasn't even thinking about the crit items. I'm not even joking. That hadn't even like crossed my mind as like. Yeah, we're a crit item build. All attacks being crits is crazy. Like, I was just thinking, like, the amplification is, like, nutty. How did that survive this? Let me read Execution for it entirely. 30% damage dealt is amplified by 60% and all attacks are critical. Whew. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Ha, <laughs> ha. And you guys haven't even seen the half of it yet. You really haven't. Just prepare yourselves, okay? Those who have a weak heart and constitution may want to look away. What did I drop for this? Did I drop the wrong thing? I did drop the wrong thing. It dropped the... Oh, wait. No, no, no. No, yeah. I meant to drop this. Oh, come on. I dropped the wrong item. But, like... <laughs> Man, I, 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 I have no, like, I, I have no complaints over, like, the, the debate, I guess, of, um, keyboard and mouse in Skull versus controller. I'm fully on team, uh, keyboard and mouse. The only th downside is you can fuck up your inventory management much, much easier with the mouse controls than you can with just, like, moving from slot to slot. Like... Not that the item we, like, the item we, we have that we accidentally, like, I got rid of the, um, what's it called, uh, um, Manatech Staff. 
which sucks. That's bad. But the item we have is still good, so it could be worse. But, like, getting rid of the Manatech staff is not ideal. Get Shadow Knights. Yeah, I fat fingered it. Or, um, I, I button, button, but, ugh, button mashed it. Excuse me. I sound like Porky Pig there for a second. I may still be able to quick kill her if she comes down here. Good job, John. Thanks for listening. Ah, she got away. Oh, she didn't get away. She died to crit items, like, at the last second. Because every attack is a crit, keep in mind, when she's below 30%. Uh, okay. Bye. Last second, uh, this. Don't mind if I do. It's not maxed, though. But this is a good case to, uh, add into my skill cooldown and attack speed. Alright, I'm taking less resistance. Alright. Now we have a cushion. Let's see if we can at least max out the mana tech garbage generator. Or not the mana tech garbage generator. That, okay, yeah, that's good enough for me. Now we put this here. Pretty bad Arachnistron across the board, but that's fine. Um, at least I maxed out my damage and got my Nether Mana Suppressor maxed out. That's really all I care about. These fucking frame drops is just the worst. Southpaw, please fix your fucking game. Like, this, south this update's so good. It's just the fucking frame drops that are, like, really bad. And I don't even know what they did to fuck it up. Like, I'm no game dev, but, like, come on. You gotta fix it. <laughs> oh! Hmm. What would I get rid of now for this? I do still want it, but then there's purple flurp over there. It's, it's two inscription benchmarks. It's actually 50% damage. It could be worth getting rid of this for it. No, stop. See, this is what I'm talking about. So that's 675 minus the damage percent I get from when this is activated. This is 695. So strictly speaking, in the damage percent department, this is better. At least in the magic department, because this increases my physical damage by a lot more than this. Or actually, not by a lot. I think it's 25% more. Is there anything better to get rid of? Not the Hope Slasher. Um... Hmm... There's not. I can't get the purple floor, but I, I think I prefer this item over this item. Even though it's, um... How much magic lost is it? So this is technically 50. This is 25 on the inscription front, plus 40, plus 55. So it's actually a pretty significant drop in magic damage. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think Manatech Staff is uh, not worth it over this. Like, this is so much magic damage that it's kind of nutty. It's also only 5% less crit rate than this. Well, okay, no, 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 that's not true. It's... Wait, no, 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 this gives magic damage. This gives magic damage. I forgot. Never mind. I take it back. I made my mind up. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about the magic damage increase on the Manatech Staff. Just read, Haxor, read. But it's so hard. What is this? A baby show? Where we read books and talk about how great reading is? Reading sucks. Intruders? I'm just joking, obviously. Before any book nerds get mad at me 
little book dweebs out there <laughs> reading their books. All right, let's go. Hero. I have low HP on this run, so this is going to be an interesting uh, attempt for me. This will show how far I've come in the Alexander uh, climb, I guess. I'm definitely not fighting Dark Skull, though. My odds of fighting Dark Skull went away when I... Oh, there was me button mashing again. That is a really nasty habit. I need to be careful. Dude! Because, like, if I'm not using Soul Burn, I'm wasting precious time, basically. There's so much damage. Oh man, I took a lot of damage from that. If I lose re uh, last resistance here, I don't think I can win. So I have to actually go into focus mode here against the hero. I need my last resistance. Turns out you can't fall asleep against the hero. Who would have thought? He still is an obstacle sometimes. I definitely want to send him into phase two here. If I'm not going to send him into phase two, I want to do a lot of damage to him. So, yeah, he's not going to phase two here, but it could, it can be fine. It's not going to deal a lot of damage to him. Oh, shit, he's really not going to phase two. Hang on. Okay, I got to focus. Oh, no. This is bad. I don't like this. Oh, no. I cast that in the wrong spot. Fuck. I'm really fucking this uh, fight up. Oh, no. Here comes the siphon. This is bad. Okay, at least we got through that. He's not playing nice. I need to stop the meatball from spawning. If the meatball spawns, I'm in big trouble. Oh my god! Hoo -hoo! Go, go, motherfucker! Fuck you! Dude, holy fuck! Man, I fucked that fight up so hard, and I still came through. If the meatball showed up there, it would have been really, really bad. I think I would have lost my, res uh, my last resistance. We still have a chance. We actually have a good chance, because what we're about to grab is crazy. Whew! I gotta get my head in the game, though. No more flubbing it. I gotta actually do this shit and do it right. Show them what you're made of, living armor. All right. Give me execute four, please. Let's read it. Damage dealt to the enemy is amplified by 50% for every 10 HP of loss by the enemy. That's nuts. It's Crazy! 10%! This is probably getting nerfed. I'm going to say it now. But we'll enjoy it while it lasts. While we got this, it's fair game. I'm taking it. And I'm having a good-ass time with it. On top of, mind you, the already existing 60% amplification and critical hits when they drop below 30. Just keep that in mind, okay?
We're saving uh, Shadow Knights for the second phase. Just keep that in mind also. There's a lot you guys have to be keeping in mind. Take notes. I hope you're taking notes. It's going to be on the test. I should have made sure that my soul burn was maxed before I came in here. I should have been min-maxing. Oops. Take this fight seriously. Oh, he's doing the nasty thing. Oh no! Okay, I'm, I'm fucking it. Oh yeah, I'm I'm flubbing it, guys. This is bad. That hit me. Okay, we didn't actually take damage on that because we swapped before we landed in there. I gotta get out of here before he puts me in the box. Oh man, this is bad. Man, this is really bad. I think we lose, guys. Fuck! I mean, God. I think my head's just not in it. I've had a long day. I mean, it's not over, but I have to play very well here. We do have Shadow Nets right out the gate. We have a very powerful enhanced inscription. I cast a Shadow Nets there. I don't know why it was so slow. Oh man, I'm fucking it up. Here it comes. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's like I have to play the next entire portion of the fight perfectly. Here it comes. being juggled I probably die in the debris segment I think or there damn dog fuck all right I'll do a post-mortem <sighs> okay um I, I just, that's on me for sure uh the run build was good um I mean, fuck, what took my reassembly? What was it? Oh, it, I lost to the Chimera incident. That's what fucking killed this run. Me misplaying against Chimera. Frankly, I think this run is just an example of me being exhausted. <laughs> I'm tired. Um, I've, been, I've been going all day long. From the moment I woke up to now, I've just been making content. So I think I'm just tired. Um, very bad decision making across the board. Uh, well, okay, not across the board. I made it, I built a good run. Um... You know, like, it's coherent, it was powerful. It, it's just misplays, so... That's what killed the run. The Chimera incident is the main culprit. Me, you know... I, I, I held together against the Dark Hero, despite it being extremely close. Basically, one hit. Um, we definitely win against um, Alexander if I play even slightly better at different points during this run. But, it, you know, it is what it is. I, I played bad against Phase 1 Alexander as well, so... Sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. This was definitely a winning run if I play correctly, but I didn't. So, you know, we'll look into the fucking alternate universe where Hex won. I'm like celebrating right now and talking about how good crit items are. <laughs> but hopefully you at least saw the potential uh, or just not even the potential because like the power was there. Hopefully you witnessed the power, I should say, of, uh, of crit items because they're very powerful and they're very good. It's a very 
pretty much the dominant archetype in Skull of the Hero Slayer. It's, it's the most powerful thing you can do in this game. And Living Armor is like one of the best users of it. With Soulburn, he, it just goes so hard. He deals so much damage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it regardless of the loss. Definitely should have been a win. Uh, but we'll get him next time. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate y'all. And I will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.